I think that media is a very important tool to use for change. Through media, you're able to really humanize people from all walks of life. Everyone deserves to have their story told. I grew up on Tybee Island, Georgia, three and a half mile long island, super small. My grandmother gave me a film Pentax camera as a kid. That was a magical gift for me. It opened up a world of art and creativity. It was nice having you as a baby. When you were real little, you liked me to talk to you and tell you little stories. You know what, if you never gave me that camera, I don't know that I would be even in this job. It's true. Right, yes. Savannah is the largest city next to Tybee, and I would always see film sets around town, but I had no clue how to be a part of them. I didn't know anyone who worked in the industry. I really longed to have some type of guidance or someone who said, hey, you can be a part of this. I saved up money and went to film school because school was the next best way to get in. As I started to get deeper into the industry here in Los Angeles, there was a bit of a, a gatekeeper situation going on. I wanted to see more people like me and my friends on these sets and have that representation behind the camera, behind the lens, not only in front of the lens. I opened my own company and we provide consulting for filmmakers, independent filmmakers, and people just coming into entertainment at any part of their career. Something really important to me is being that voice and saying, hey, this film set isn't as far away as you think. You could be there. We need authenticity, we need representation, we need things to feel genuine. Within the Latinx community specifically, we are all so interconnected and willing to help each other out. My hopes for the future are to see a more inclusive, racially equitable film set. If we're not constantly helping each other and uplifting each other, what are we doing? Building community is the most important thing here.